People ask her one question, why? Why Hussein? Why not someone else? The answer is, Hussein ibn Ali made a stand 1400 years ago for the rights of poor, for the rights of humanity. He made a stand for justice. He made a stand for equality. And today, 1400 years later, we are continuing the legacy. We're taking his legacy forward. The best way to take his legacy forward is help the London's forgotten ones and give back. Uh, so today what we're doing is we're doing a Christmas special uh, where we had different areas. We had the CV workshop, we had free haircuts, uh, we had food tables, we were giving out cupcakes, we were talking to the public, getting them signed up. Uh, it was a big event, we do this every week, but today as it's Christmas, um, it's a Christmas special. We did it on a large scale where we were trying to get a wider audience and get as many people as possible. The aims and objectives of Who Is Hussein itself is to inspire the community within the London and all over the world. It has about 80 chapters all over the world. The second objective is, once they're inspired, is to spread the name of Imam Hussein and also do the right actions like feeding the homeless, doing blood drives, doing charitable work, giving water bottles to the public and to the homeless people itself. <laughs> Events like this, so this is a so far social inclusion event. Uh, we are not only just out here doing what we usually do, but we're also doing it for Christmas. So we're trying to, so it's, it's a, it's a two-way social inclusion. So not only we're trying to bring the Christmas festive spirit to the homeless people of, or on the street, but we're also trying to integrate, we're trying to show that the community of Muslims within London or all around the world, we are not separate from the society. We are pretty much part of the society. So we don't have any barrier, we don't have any division from whatever our neighbors, our community that we are living in, they're doing. We're actually part of it. So we ourselves celebrate Christmas, not probably in a sense in which, from a religious perspective, but from a very festive spirit, from a very sort of a, a giving and receiving sort of, a, sort of a, uh, uh, energy that, 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 it, that it brings. My name's Anna, I'm one of the team leaders for the CV Workshop. Um, the CV Workshop is one of the three things that we do at Who's Hussein. Um, one of our key parts of our food drive, um, the other key parts is the CV Workshop, and the other one is um, the housing database that we're hoping to bring about in the new year. It's, it's difficult, especially when you're homeless, trying to get to one location to another. Um, when you're applying for jobs and not having a permanent address on your CV, even though we're going to get your next meal, your, your housing, your shelter, your basic sanitation, I think there's so many obstacles to overcoming the problem of homelessness that this is just us trying to do one thing and one step to try to make the process a little bit easier. I love the team work because Wolves were saying, they approached me and they say, listen, you want to come and help us with the haircuts? I said, why not? Let me try it. So one day I come to the to, to Charing Cross station across over the Zimbabwe embassy. I'm standing here and I'm giving a haircut and before you know, there's 20 people waiting for me. Um, I appreciate it. I love that. It makes me better, stronger and wiser. As it's Christmas and it's a busy period with a larger audience, especially in a place like central London, uh, there's a big crowd trying to, uh, trying to come down and walk on these streets. Uh, it's a very good platform in order to uh, promote Imam Hussein. There are many people out there trying to see um, what's going on and they're intrigued. When they walk over, uh, as there's, uh, it's a busy period, there are many people out there that are intrigued and they want to know what's going on. With the food drive, um, 
they're very interested and as given the current climate, not many people are out there trying to do positive work. So with this positivity, uh, positivity it inspires people uh, and it gives a message out there that there is still positive people out there and there is someone out there for everyone. Imam Hussein his whole life uh, was based around giving to people. So I don't have to tell you guys, but you guys probably know more about it just by, from watching Imam Hussein TV. That from the very young age until the moment he passed away, he was all about giving. And not only just giving, but very, very selfless giving. I mean, we have his really famous, really uh, sort of well-known quote saying that the most generous of people is one who gives to whom he has no hope of return. So you just give for the sake of giving and that brings a lot of, a lot of, not, I wouldn't say self-contentment, uh, but also but a, a sort of energy that actually permeates out into other, other cultures or other, other social groups or other, other people. And then that sort of like brings about a, a, a bigger social cohesion, a bigger unity within people. So charity by itself is about bringing people together and that's what that's, that's my motivation is. Please don't forget to support Wu Su saying. If you don't know, ask the question, don't judge. And if you can contribute, contribute. You see, a small charity is better than zero charity. So thank you very much. My client is waiting and he doesn't like to wait. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Merry Christmas, bud. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs>